What's up guys and welcome back to UFC 4. Today we've got Romero in the ring with us and we are going to be learning... Oh. <laughs> are you serious right now? Look at, look at this move. The rolling... Thunder kick. Now we haven't really connected with this yet. Let me just let me just Beautiful loosen him up a little bit here. Oh my gosh, he keeps moving every time we're about to go do it. Let me let me just He jumps every time. I'm trying to get like a good you know bring it down on top of his head. Basically we're doing a forward flip. We're doing a front flip while also trying to land our feet on top of his head. I I mean Seems like a little bit of a ridiculous move, but uh, I'm down to give it a shot. So yeah, welcome back. Today, we've got to do some title defending, huh? We just earned the belt in the last episode, and our first contender is coming up. Tyron Woodley has decided that he wants a shot at the welterweight belt, and uh, I mean, he's a scary dude. I'm not going to lie. Gonna have to hold it down. Gonna have to watch watch those hands. Watch his his power is just insanity. Dangerous KO power. Former NCAA Division One wrestler. I didn't know that. So he wrestled in college, and then decided to become an MMA fighter. This is it. Just gotta play smart. Definitely need to stay off the ground here. We definitely definitely need to keep it. Keep it up top as much as we can. Getting some some nice punches in right there. Let's try to use some some misdirection and stuff. Some interesting spinning kicks and stuff. Stuff like that. Beautiful. We could even get some front face kicks. We don't really use our front kicks that much. Ooh, he he got us good there. He's a little he's a little stunned there. There it is. Could even hit him with these. All right, that didn't that didn't work very well. <laughs> no, 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 no. Homie folded us up like a pretzel right there, but we're gonna get straight up. Get straight up. Just get up. Just get up. Just get up, Trev. He's going for it. He's going for a, some a sub right off the bat. What are you doing? What? This doesn't make any sense. Just get up, Trev. Oh my god, dude, we're not gonna be able to get up, are we? I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high Push him up. Grappler. You don't see that very often. And just try to get up. Come on. Oh my Dude, I hate this. I hate it when I'm stuck on the ground and I can't do anything. This is so frustrating. I can't get up. There's literally nothing I can do. Well, looks like Woodley's right back to the full mount here. There it is. Alright, we're up. Keep him back. Oof. There it is. Sit down, you little, you little punk. Now stand up, Trev. While he's dazed and confused, stand up. No, I don't. I don't want to stay down on the ground with him. Oh my God. I wanted to give him one punch to the face and then stand back up, and we couldn't even do that. He's that good. Dude, he's blocking everything. He does a great job blocking all His defense is, is immaculate, dude. Oh, land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. There it is. There it is. There it is. Get him. Up against the cage. Just freaking just go. You got 10 seconds. Just keep going. You're not going to be able to knock him out, but do as much damage as you possibly can. Oh my gosh. That's the end of one. Dude, that is insane. He's so good at defense. He's shorter, so he like, you kind of have to get in close, and then he uses that to his, his advantage, because he's so just tough and, and muscular and built and just strong. He's, he's destroying us down on the ground. He's using his size to his advantage. Man. It's rough. There it is. There it is. Come on, baby. There it is. Let's go. What do we want to use next? There it is. Come on. Don't let him take you down to the ground. Dude, he's hurting right now. You got him. You got him back. You got him back. Oh, if that would have hit. I'm trying to think of some of the stuff that we don't normally use that, that might be able to... Might be able to catch him slipping. Oh, that is a huge power shot from Shoot. This is exactly what Come on, man. Let's 
going for a triangle choke. All right. Well, just gonna stay out of this. I'm not sure why he's going for subs this early. It's not even like I'm I'm really that hurt or out of breath. Doesn't really doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. There we go. Good trans. There it is. As he stands up, I'm freaking. Oh, how did that not connect? Haven't really used a, a ton of our knees and elbows. Uppercuts. There we go. Oh my gosh, dude. He blocks everything, is the problem. There we go. A couple of body kicks. Try to keep him honest, but he's still. He's blocking his head. He's just doing such a good job with his head. Might just need. Like slow and methodical, like you know, just kind of use use our jabs and stuff, bodies. Just kind of try to try to get them as we go here. Oh, there it is. We got to get up, get up, Trev. There it is. Woo! That was that was pretty sick. How he was dodging and stuff. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was our toughest opponent yet. It didn't go as far as some of our other fights. I mean, that was a second round knockout, but that was our toughest opponent yet by far. I 100% thought we were losing. Like, he, he had so much control when we were on the ground. He was taking us down no problem. I felt like I was being pretty quick on defense and, like, trying to cancel it. We couldn't do anything. He was just... Taking us down and doing whatever he wanted with us. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with Very lucky we were able to get an open strike like that on him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb and be able to end that thing. At four minutes, 14 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Let's go, baby. And still. So we're gonna have some more of those defenses ahead of us. Let's just go ahead and cherish this thing while we've got it. The best in the world are coming at us, so we're gonna keep it up. And uh, hopefully at some point, we're gonna have the chance to go for a second one, see if we can jump a weight class and see what happens. All right, guys, so we had a couple more fights in between the Woodley one and where we're at now, but it was repeat fights from guys we've already fought before, so I didn't think it'd be that interesting. Matt Devalis says, and still, I never get tired of saying that, but you may be tired of hearing it. So how about we move up and get some more gold? I'm feeling good and walking through people. Don't think anyone could stop me, not even a weight class. Let's do it. We're gonna accept that super fight and uh, it's time to try to get two belts, baby. We're gonna try to become the champ champ. Now, uh, of course, you can't stay the champ champ, like once you get one one belt and then if you move up a weight class and get another one we're going to take on Kelvin Gastelum middleweight champion all right let's go ahead and accept this fight six weeks to go but uh anyway yeah you can't defend both at the same time there's like a rule against that I feel like they should let you defend both if you can I mean obviously that'd be a lot of fighting that'd be difficult and, and a lot of people couldn't really do it but um I, I think you should be allowed to try I'm going to predict a round three knockout Looks pretty good to me, and that's gonna go ahead and uh, that's gonna go ahead and move us on to week two. But um, yeah, we're gonna go in there. We're gonna try to get the belt, and honestly, I think that may be our final move, at least for this fighter. Well, we'll see what happens. I don't want to definitely say one thing one way or another. Peak Fitness, a very high hype fight. This is the one to end it all, baby. We're putting it all out on the line here, and uh, we're gonna see what we can do. So, uh, yeah, like I was saying, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this might be the last episode. I'm not 100% against potentially starting up another fighter at some point, but right now there are a lot of games coming out and stuff, and it's like once you achieve the double champ, you can't really do anything else. From here on out, it's just gonna be defending the belt, Whichever one we decide to defend, if we want to stay down and, and welterweight or move up to, to middleweight. So you just sit there and you defend it, you defend it, you defend it. Maybe you go for double champ again at some point. But it's not like there's going to be anything more you could achieve. This is the <laughs> pinnacle. I this, huh? I mean, I always knew you were something special. But, but this, this is next level. Only a handful of fighters have become double champs in the UFC. Some very rare company. And Ty, 
Good. All right, at the end of the night, though, remember, it's just a fight. Stay focused on the task at hand. We can worry about finding more trophy space in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Good. So we're going to write our name in the record books here. Oh, I'm excited. Hopefully we can make it happen. Man, I don't know. If, if we lose, do we try to go for it again? Well, what Let's a just plan on not losing. In front of us tonight, and for this fight, we're going to be all right. One win away from UFC immortality. He became a UFC champion in one division, and tonight he will try to become a simultaneous two-division UFC champion. Absolutely incredible. What can be accomplished in front of our eyes tonight? Let's get it. Looking good. Camp went well. Our diet's been going well. Cardio is on another level. We're feeling like we're in the best shape of our lives. And it's time to prove it. And here's the champ. The champ is coming out. The current champ. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. And in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. That wrestling background is not what I want to see here. Not at all. All right. Let's get into it, man. So we're, I'm, I'm coming out fast and hard, honestly. Like, I, I'm not even thinking twice about it. I'm, I'm coming out, and I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting right, right into it. Zero, zero chill, dude. Zero chill. No way. No way. No way. We are going to be able to finish him. Just stand up, Trev. Don't, don't stay on the ground. Don't stay on the ground. Oh, my gosh. There's no way he can, he can stop us from... Getting up here. There we go. Gotta watch our, our stamina here. There it is. Okay. Okay. We're gonna have to be very careful about this. We do not want to end up losing a ton of stamina and stuff. I think we're gonna have a hard time getting back up, but no, we're able to get up right off the bat. Oh my gosh. Inches from just hitting the light switch right there. A little misdirection. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I really want to have a knockout with that that somersault front flip kick. Ooh, shouldn't have put my hands down there. Oh my gosh, dude, he's throwing haymakers too. I can't, I can't, I can't let up. There it is, beautiful work. Oh, that's that's a pretty that's a pretty bad one right there. I'm not gonna lie. Hit him a few times and then stand up, Trev. Stand up. Get up. Just get up. There's no way he's going to be able to hold you back here. Go for some knees. Some knees to the chest. Maybe a leg kick. Just kind of mix it up a little bit. Our uppercuts are, are almost max level at this point. As soon as he thinks you're going with the hands, you're going to be able to bring out the cannon. Yes, sir. I told you we had to come out hard. Like we, we could not miss anything there. If he had any sort of a, a you know cardio energy advantage over us and got us on the ground, we were gonna be in trouble. But we we had to come in. We had to get it done, dude. That is the move that has been just sealing the deal for us since the very start. Straight up roundhouse kick. We invested in it early on in our career. We put a lot of points and training sessions into it, and it's it's paid us back immensely. That's been our best move the entire thing, which is kind of a little bit boring. I think at our next our next career, whether it's on this game or and new baby, got 7.7 .7 million. Over his shoulder, he has become a two-division UFC champion. 